Hello, hello, happy Thursday, happy Thursday, and welcome, welcome. I have a little bit of light shining in through my window. It's a beautiful day outside, nice and sunny, maybe a little chilly a little bit later, but who knows, we'll see. So welcome, welcome. Today's class is going to be talking about cutting the cable, and this is an important class. So even if you've had the class previously, a lot of big changes are happening right now, so we're going to be talking about that. Uh, to our services. Some of them are changing, getting some new ones. Also, some are increasing in their price and they're losing some of their local channels too. Wee. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia, the Harlem Library, and now, an, oh, excuse me, also the Uchi Creek, now Grovetown Library, yay, with our new building in Grovetown and everything. So, yay! <laughs> But today, of course, we're here on YouTube because we're staying safe and everything. We're not doing any on-ground classes or anything. So definitely keep an eye out on our library because a lot of folks are doing lots of virtual stuff with us, virtual story time, uh, teen programs, all kinds of stuff that can all be found on our website. So welcome, welcome as you come into the class. And again, don't forget, if you do come to one of the live classes, then of course you can ask questions. So here we go. Please feel free to post your questions in the chat. And the big question I always want to start off with is how can I help? Okay. What questions do you have? Today we're talking about antennas. Are we talking about antennas? <laughs> you like that? Are we talking about... Ways to get free streaming devices from Comcast. You know, like the Flex. Gonna flex on them a little bit. There you go, flex, flex, flex. So there you go right there. And we'll also be talking about, uh, you know, all types of different streaming services too. So the big question I always wanna start off with is how can I help, okay? Feel free to post any questions that you have into the chat. And there we go. So this month's a little bit shorter, so we only have three weeks of classes. Uh, we have classes on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, okay? So definitely come uh, join me uh, for that. And these are the classes that we have this month, and these classes are still up and available on our YouTube channel. Uh, so today we're doing our cord cutting this afternoon. Next week we'll be doing a Raspberry Pi project at 2.30 on Tuesday. Wednesday we're going to be doing... Uh, our holiday coding digital snowflakes. We have three holiday themed classes. And then the 17th, we're going to be doing a blender uh, class where we're going to make a snowman. On the 17th, we'll do another blender class animating a snow scene. So if you want to get any kind of 3D animation, these are some great tutorials uh, to learn that. And also do a little bit of basic uh, Python, get used to using Python a little bit too. On a side note, if you're looking for some free ebooks, free digital audiobooks too, and you have your library card, all you need is to download our new Libby app that just started over in October 1st. Okay, it'll ask you what your library is. Don't say Evans, uh, don't say Columbia County, don't say uh, Harlem, don't say Grovetown. Say Greater Clarksville Regional Library System and then choose Georgia Download Destination. Enter your library card and you should be good to go. 
On another side note, <laughs> our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, if we we're actually having a subscribe drive, if we can get a hundred subscribers to our YouTube channel, it'll give us a our own personalized uh, YouTube address. So. Or you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and our channel will pop right up. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about, we still have the sun shining on me a little bit there, but that's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna post this in the handout in the, excuse me, in the chat as well. Any questions before we get started? All right, it's loading. Hold on. <laughs> All right, it's still loading. Hold on. <laughs> That's the deal. It thinks I want to edit it. I don't want to edit it. I just wanted to share it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to post what I'm going to cover. Sorry that took a second there. I don't know why it wasn't loading properly, but there we go. Uh-oh, looks like our signal dropped out there for a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about what we're going to cover. Wabam. Cord cutting. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm still getting the sun on my face a little bit. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe that'll help out. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to disappear. And you just hear the sound of my voice. So usually this is when I ask a lot of questions in class. And I ask questions like, what service do you have now? Someone might say, well, we have TV, Comcast TV. We have this other service. And I go, okay, well, do you have Netflix? Then I have a bunch of people raise their hand for Netflix. And then I'll say, okay, who has Hulu here? And a few people raise their hand. Uh, about two years ago, uh, well, I'll, I'll go back further than that. In 2014, we actually did a class, uh, and we only had about four people show up at the library. And then about two years ago in January, we actually did a class. And believe it or not, we had, um, it started off at, uh, 10 people, 20 people, 30 people, 40 people. And then I got the call that said a bunch of people are signing up for this and it looks like you're going to have more than 50 people in the class. And I go, okay, so we cut it off, cut that class off at 50. And then we actually expanded it um, to another class. And believe it or not, we had 25 people sign up for that class and come to that class. So I actually called this the 75 person class. Uh, at our library and which is actually quite exciting to share the information with big question I'd ask why is uh, everybody here why is that everybody is asking a bunch of questions about this and a big one was people will say well the bill just went up and that's one of the things we're going to be talking about today is that some of the services now their prices are about to jump up Hulu is one of those prices about to jump up another ten dollars okay all right so let's go ahead and let's get started here Let's talk about what we're going to cover. So we've got someone sitting there watching TV, changing the channels and stuff, watching what they want to watch. So the big thing is our focus kind of really is saving money. 
Uh, I know a lot of the services, and we'll talk about that. We'll have exclusive shows, movies, TV shows, and stuff that we go. We have to have that service if we want to see that exclusive TV show or movie or something. And uh, other focus is is what I want to watch when I want to watch it. Okay, so less about saying, okay, well, I have to get home by seven o'clock tonight because I know that show's coming on. It's the only time it's going to come on. And I turn to that channel, I watch the show, and that's it, okay? So we're dealing a lot with uh, what I want to watch when I want to watch it. Is it a, sh a show coming on tonight and you won't be able to be there? You want to go to an event? you got plans to do something else? Well, not worry about it. Do you have certain services? Will it show it later? Will it be saved in some way? And that's where it, it pops into what I want to watch when I want to watch it, okay? So we're really going to kind of break this up into three parts, okay? Our first part is we're going to talk really focus on the saving money part. Saving money part is going to be talking a lot about setting up a digital antenna, okay? Or I should just say antenna, okay? So getting free digital TV with an antenna. We'll talk about what you need. Um, we'll talk about antennas. We'll talk about free channels. And we'll also talk about is my TV digital ready? Now, do you realize some of the services are actually losing the local channels and some of the services like Sling do not include the local channels at all. So you actually do need to have a two uh, part system here of having an antenna and having a service too, okay? And we'll talk about a digital TV converter as well. So if you have a family member uh, that maybe you're trying to learn about this to try to save money for them, in some way, uh, there you go. Maybe they have an older TV, they don't want to go out. Of course, the holidays now is a great time to get uh, discounts on the really you know new TVs. And I'll tell you some of the joys in life is to watch something on a bigger TV if you do have some visual issues or have a fan member that has some visual issues. Watch it on a bigger TV. <laughs> It'll make it a lot better than it is watching on a smaller TV. Okay, so. Our second part is we're going to talk about internet streaming and our TV options. So this, of course, is just with our antenna. Okay. Now we'll talk about what do we need. We'll talk about the devices, and we're going to focus on free. Okay. So that really is what our big focus is is going to be uh, free. So uh, I want to do something real quick. So we're really going to focus on the free aspect of that, okay? I don't know why it did that. Anyway, so we're going to focus on the free part, free with ads. So again, we're going to talk about free lot, free antenna TV. We're going to talk about free internet streaming after, of course, you spend the money to have internet at your house, okay? We'll talk about our top paid services, okay? We'll show you a good sample of Netflix, a uh, sample of Hulu a little bit, and we'll talk about live streaming TV, okay? Live streaming TV is just like if you turn to that channel, uh, let's say you had Knowledge or Comcast, turn that channel and you're watching the TV live, the channel live, okay? Which is still kind of a, a newer concept, and I think that kind of plays along into the price changes on some of the services. Okay, so uh, and what do you really watch? So I will talk about that at the end. Big thing is take home with you. I have folks come to class. I'll answer all these questions. Happy to answer any questions that you have. Just post it in the chat. And the thing about this is they may come back and say, well, I'm really not sure. Okay, well, try to think about the homework I'm going to give you. Think about what am I really watching? What am I really interested in? And also a little bit of extra here because I had people request it and want to know more information about it. And I even had people come to my classes and share the information. What if you want to cut the phone cord? So do you still have a, a, a landline at your house and you're looking into making it cheaper, looking at the other options for long distance, or do you just want to cut it completely? We'll give a little bit of information there as well. Okay, so... Let's talk about why cut the cord, okay? 
The average uh, pay TV bill now is about $106 and rising, says Consumer Reports. I personally was paying about $150 uh, for direct TV, and after buying uh, the antenna, uh, live TV is free, okay? So I like to say, don't pay for TV, you can get for free, okay? So uh, a while back, I was actually in a store, and they had a little key kiosk set up there. I think it was Direct TV or Comcast or one of those. And I had already cut the cable, so I've cut the cable for um, a while now. And one of the things was person talked to me and they said, hey, hey, um, you know, what are you, what are you watching? What are you doing? I said, I don't think you want to talk to me. I was not showboating or anything like that. It was just me and him talking. And he said, I want to um, you know, tell you about what great deals we got or whatever. And I said, you don't want to talk to me. He said, really? I said, no. And at the time, the Olympics were actually going on. I said, well, I said, I have an antenna. So I'm watching the Olympics for free. I'm going to be watching the Masters for free. I'm going to be watching the Super Bowl for free. You know, and I have Netflix and I have, um, at the time they didn't have the streaming stuff, and I have Hulu. So at the time it was about, um, you know, less than about uh, 20, 25 bucks a month or something if I calculated all that up. And I said, so he said, okay, well, you have a good day. I said, okay, well, thank you. So it was like he couldn't beat that price and, of course, watch all that stuff for free as well. So there you go right there. So the big other thing is I want you to take away from this class is more options, okay? On-demand services start at free. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of them, some that I really like and uh, almost use uh, every other day or so or certain things they have on there. And I'm like, I really want to see that. And uh, they'll starting at free or as low as $6, okay, with like a Hulu service or something. But you can get a lot of stuff for free, and we're going to be talking about that. So the other thing is watch exclusive movies and shows. You may hear about a hot new show, you know, maybe a, a Star Wars show, show like Mandalorian or something. People are really talking about other shows, Netflix shows, and we'll kind of talk about that as well. So you may have to get that service to be able to see that show or movie, okay? So let's talk about our antennas. So uh, the old way, kind of the way people have antennas still in their mind, is that you only had a few channels, had a bunch of static, static, static. Maybe you had three, maybe you had four channels. Static, static, static. You had rabbit ears on top of the TV. Well, just kind of won't get into it too much. You can research that if you want to. But basically what happened was uh, our signal changed. Okay, the, A bunch of the companies, cell phone companies, wanted the, uh, the broad, the, um, the signal that's being, I'll say that, the signal that's being was being used by the analog TV, and they were encouraging the TVs to use compression and make it digital and everything. So the signal actually changed, okay? So what were the big positives with the signals? Well, one of the things is digital quality signal, okay? And it also allows the channels to actually broadcast more than one channel at a time because it's compressed together, okay? So what does that mean now? Well, that means that the new digital channels are usually in HD or at least they're a digital signal, okay? So they're in high, high def or it's a digital signal. It means more channels. Uh, most of the channels are in HD. Like again, they're in their digital quality. It's a better signal and there's no static, okay? The only thing I can tell you negative is either you get the channel or you don't get the channel. Now, the other thing someone says, well, it's the weather. Is, yes, the weather will affect your antenna. And also, just like if you had a satellite, the weather would affect your antenna. And Comcast TV and the rest of them will have outages too. So there's good, there's good and bad with all of them. So just kind of realize that too. But what is the best part of having an antenna? Okay, It's what? It's free. Absolutely. The best part about having an antenna is that it's completely free once you purchase the antenna. Okay. So the next question I get asked is, 
well, kind of what can I expect? You know, what kit channels should I expect to actually see? Well, let's talk about the antenna sticks, and then we'll talk about what channels to expect, okay? So this is a picture that I took at uh, one of our local Walmarts. The funny thing is, is that five or so years ago, this was just a few things here. And I actually, at the time, I lived at a different house, and I purchased a really big antenna like this. I had direct TV. I canceled direct TV. And uh, they still had their, their pole out there for the antenna. They still had the cables running and everything. So I actually took this big antenna, which I bought for $89. And I went out there and I put in the pole, I connected it up the, to the cable, the coax cable, went inside and told it to search for channels. And that's mostly what I did. I later would add a booster, which they do sell now. Um, here's one of them right there, and here's some smaller boosters in the little picture. Um, but do realize that when we look at the top here, it actually will talk about our distance. And some of the stuff I'm about to talk about, could this have helped you back in the day? Um, you know, the 80s, 90s, stuff like that to get a better normal TV signal, uh, then absolutely it would have, but uh, the information was not shared like it was then, like it is now. And um, I think, uh, what is it, uh, life hacks and stuff like that weren't as prevalent as uh, people want to share information. So now we get to do stuff like that. So there you go right there. Knowing the distance between you and the signal is very important. Okay. So how far are you from the signal? Do you need an indoor or outdoor antenna? Um, my first pri my price is actually talking as cheap as $15.99. There's some folks that even still have an antenna. Believe it or not, it's not really the technology in the antenna. Uh, that is the deal. It's actually the the um, the technology inside the newer TV, uh, which actually is the digital. And the other one is, is to have a compass, okay? Now you may or may not have a um, compass on hand, but your smartphone might. And there's also some apps uh, to be able to point out where to point your antenna as well. So hint, 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 okay? All right, now is my TV digital ready? Now again, a lot of us have the big HD TVs, but there may be some folks, family members, an extended room, an extra room or something like that, and they go, well, we have this really big TV, it still works, still want to use it, or have a family member that still loves that TV, it's like, okay, that's fine, um, but to use the new antenna, you actually need, if you have a TV like this, you need a box like this, okay? So, uh, but if you have a new HD TV, um, then it should have the converter inside of it to com the converter box there is and to um, uh, bleh. It has the plug for the antenna. I'll just say it that way. I was going to go into all that text up but I'm not going to do that. All right, so if you have this, you need this, okay? Now, how do I know where I am from the signal? Okay? Well, Websites like antennapoint.com help with that. There's also a government site that I have listed in the references. Basically, go there. You can give it your zip code or you can give it your street address and it'll start telling you this information. The big thing here is with your antenna. So am I recommending doing this before you purchase an antenna? Absolutely yes, because it'll talk about your distance. So this is the type of antenna that you need to get and also it'll show your heading. So if you are going to be using a, um, a compass to be able to set it up, point it the right direction, like I said, there's some a bunch of free apps that you can do. TV Towers is uh, one of those that I really like on the iPhone. You can actually set it up that way, but a compass and this website will let you know which heading you need to point your antenna in. Now, the distance will tell here so where is our signal coming from? Well, in the Augusta CSRA area, our signal is mostly coming from North Augusta. Okay, high atop Thunder Hill is what they used to call it. Now, PBS signal does come out from a little bit of a different area, okay? But mostly it's North Augusta. So if you live in Evans, Martinez, Augusta area, uh, you know, Martinez, further out, you probably need an outdoor antenna. 
uh, to really get the best quality. And people ask me, well, what kind of antenna should I get? I say, well, outside, uh, as high up as you can get it, no trees above it, pointed at North Augusta is the best. And they go, okay, well, I think I would just want to try indoor antenna. I said, that's great. That's fine. See, see how far your distance is here. Uh, where do you live? And if they go, oh, I live in Augusta or North Augusta, you can go, go, go probably do very well with the indoor antenna. Uh, no problem. But if you're trying to get the maximum channels you can, as high up as you can get it, outside with nothing, no trees over it um, to block the signal is really your best uh, chance. Okay. I've also told some people that sometimes the, the uh, antenna turns into a little bit of a hobby. Okay, <laughs> so messing with it, looking at it, doing it that way. So before you purchase an antenna, look and see how far away you are from North Augusta for our area. Or if you're you know, looking at this and you don't live in Augusta, do you realize this website, and there's a government website too, it'll tell you where your signal's coming from. Okay, we're kind of lucky that most of our signal is coming from North Augusta. So most of our antennas, we just have to point in one direction. There's some people that live in some cities that the signals are coming from different directions. Um, you can split hairs or point it at one that you want. They do sell antennas that you can program to turn. Luckily in our era, we don't have to do that. Okay. All right. So what kind of antenna should I get? Now we talked about our range. We talked about living in Augusta. North Augusta definitely could get by with one of these indoor ones. This one, I would make sure that my, t if I, the idea of the flat screen one is basically you're putting it on a window, you're putting it behind the TV. Make sure your TV is not blocking your antenna uh, signal. Okay, again, look at the, uh, where you should be pointing your TV. Uh, you, I've actually looked out, I've moved to a new location, and one of the things is that first got there, had the antenna inside, and had some windows pointing in the direction of North Augusta, and I actually found out that the screens on the windows were blocking a lot of the antenna signal. So I basically got an antenna that would uh, be outside, okay? Here's our range here, talking about this, and you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money, like I said, less than a hundred dollars or so uh one of the ones that i got one time uh, i think it was about twelve dollars or whatever uh it's one of these and it has a little stand for it and it works pretty good in one of the bedrooms <laughs> kind of have it up high and i have a little booster on it and it'll get some of the local channels that were interested in stuff all right so the one on the right side Here's your big one. Looks kind of like a classic antenna, sticking up as high as you you know high as you can. You can get it. No trees uh, covering up. And also, here's one that Best Buy actually sells one of their brands. So, do you think they believe in antennas? Yes, they do because they do sell their own brand of antennas. This is one that could hook to the side of the house if your signal was headed in a certain direction. All right, so let's talk about what channels we can kind of expect to get in our area. Well, this is, I try to keep this kind of up to date. This is a Saturday. Um, so the big one is WJBF News Channel 6, our ABC affiliate, actually puts out four channels, okay? And yeah, so the channel 12 has actually added a fifth channel now. So if you get ABC, then you get all four of these channels. So what four channels can we expect? Well, of course, we have our main ABC, NBC, CBS, and our local Fox, of course. But there's also other stuff too. There's not only those programs, but these three other channels that they have. Big fan of the MeTV channel, that's 6.2. Lots of fun, it's kind of a retro TV channel. So if you have a family member that just loves classic TV shows, and they do um, rotate them. They don't. They don't keep them for. Um, they'll keep them for you know six months or so, and then they're usually rotating the cha the shows out and stuff. Classic things. Andy Griffith. Um, you know episodes of Mash. All kinds of stuff on there. 
They'll show uh, Twilight Zone, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, uh, Western, shows like The Rifleman, all kinds of stuff. They try to have themes on certain days. Sci-Fi Saturday was a really big one because on Saturdays at 8 o'clock, that's when they show out of Chicago, the Sven Gulli Show. Sven Gulli Show is a lot of fun. They show classic universal monster movies. And they were recently showing Hammer British Frankenstein movies, which are which are pretty fun and stuff, too. Good part, those are in color. A lot of the shows he shows are classic and they're not in color. But the guy comes out of a coffin, makes very silly uh, jokes all the time. It's, it's very family-friendly. And it's a lot of fun and stuff. And then after that, they're showing some sci-fi stuff like Star Trek, original Star Trek show. I Lost in Space is on there. Buck Rogers is on there. A whole bunch of stuff. They used to show Wonder Woman, but they don't show Wonder Woman anymore because I told you they like rotate them out. So a lot of fun. And this is kind of like a murder mystery channel here. Always kind of like murder mystery shows, uh, crime drama shows on here. Of course, we have our Jeopardy. This is a newer channel. We have the Circle, which actually does show a lot of. Oh, here's the Circle down here. Shows a lot of country um, live performances from the Grand Ole Opry, which are actually really nice. And because of COVID, they're 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 basically doing live performances, uh, kind of to the audience, and they do a lot of questions and talking to the artists and stuff. And this is kind of another murder mystery show channel. So as you see, classic reruns of shows. Here's another one. If we get PBS, then you get four PBS channels. Uh, the first one is, you know, classic stuff. Uh, the mystery, uh, dinner theater shows and stuff. Uh, British mostly focusing on that. This one here is mostly about travel and eating. So they will actually have uh, Martha Stewart on there a lot. Some of the other chefs. Uh, this one's kind of more of a local thing. Plays a lot of Savannah artists and stuff. And this one right here, guess what it is? It's actually 24 hours a day, seven days a week, kid programs. Okay? Through the antenna, yes, through the antenna, a 24 hour a day um, uh, a kid show uh, network, I guess you'd say that way. PBS stuff. Cat in the Hat, you name it, it's on there. Okay. All right, we get a little bit higher here. Channel 26 actually has three shows. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff. Uh, another, They have their own kind of um, classic TV channel. So again, if you have a friend or family member that loves classic TV shows, um, they're probably on there. There's, so you're basically getting three kind of classic TV shows, uh, popular murder mystery shows, as you see on there. And this is actually our local Christian stations and there's three of them and a lot of a lot of the times these other two will actually just kind of play music and stuff which is kind of interesting here's our fox our local fox affiliate here and then there's a channel called bounce and then there's a channel called true grit okay the grit channel so these two channels mostly show tv shows excuse me they're mostly showing movies and stuff so i kind of view them as the you know action movie channels and stuff and then this one here is actually Court TV, okay? Court TV is back. Yes, Court TV from the 90s is back. And so any kind of court case that's kind of big going along, talking about stuff, I won't talk about that. Some of that stuff kind of gets sad because it's you know about crime and stuff. But anyway, but you can watch that. You can learn a lot. They have forums. They talk to people. And you can actually see live coverage of uh, the court cases and stuff. So... There you go right there. So that's kind of the stuff to kind of expect here. I've recently seen uh, other family members do scans and get some channels out of South Carolina like the, uh, the four uh, PBS channels out of South Carolina. And some other channels have actually popped up recently too. All right, so let's talk about our streaming services. Hopefully... You got a lot about that. So basically an investment less than $100, okay? Basically you get that it's free. And one of the things is anytime I watch something that's, you know, on the national thing, that uh, uh, so like uh, last night, you know, watching, uh, they had the Grinch musical on and that was just on the, the local 
you know, NBC ch channel. So there you go right there. And always something interesting going on. I think they had uh, like a Dolly Parton Christmas the other night, which was really neat. And I'm trying to remember what else was the most local thing I saw. Anyway, just, you know, Sven uh and those are really fun. Any of the classic TV channels. And all that's free for the, for the antenna. So is there a lot of content, a lot of great stuff on there? Absolutely. You know, and Nova on PBS, great stuff on there. All right, so let's talk about our streaming services now. First, we're going to talk about our free with stuff. Do you need an internet connection? Yes, you need a high-speed internet connection. Wi-Fi is kind of pre preferred because some of our devices, it may be kind of troublesome. They may not have an ethernet port, uh, so you need to connect to it to your Wi-Fi at your house. Uh, a recommended device connected to your TV. We'll talk about smart TVs and stuff in just a minute. Do I need it for each TV? Yes, each TV will need their own device. Okay. It's a big question someone will ask and they'll go, okay, but what if I do this and I get this cable and I, no, it's, trust me, we're not talking about devices that are really expensive here. We're talking about devices that you'll have for many, many, many years, um, low end, you know, less than $60 uh, kind of stuff. So, yeah. And some of these have paid monthly subscriptions, so we'll be talking about those as well. So let's talk about free to begin. Well, let's talk about our devices first, and then we'll talk about free. So we basically have two ways that we connect. Now, you can plug a, a, a laptop that has an HDMI out into a TV as well. I don't want to overlook that. Uh, for most of the services we have, you can do that. Um, but that's not really the easiest the way to watch TV you know, on a regular basis. So our standalone really is the best way. Now I will tell you this, people ask me which one do I recommend. I recommend the Roku, the top. I've had many Rokus, I've bought many Rokus, I've given Rokus as gifts. Um, absolutely love it, works great. Uh, the second kind of is that is the Amazon Fire. I don't have an Apple TV. Uh, Apple TV, the big expense, those are really the most expensive ones. The big thing about that is really um, because it, they view that you want to use the play the games on it, so it has a whole lot more uh, video card power on it or run apps on it. And there's a lot of the Apple TV content you can actually run on other devices, believe it or not. The Chromecast used to not recommend that as much because it actually didn't have a remote, but the newest version of the app, the Chromecast, actually does have a remote. Okay. And I'll use this time to talk about something that you can actually get for free. So basically, I had heard that, um, oh, I have the light shining on again. That's kind of funny. Anyway, I'd actually heard that Comcast was going to start pushing a uh, small device. And this is their what they call Flex, okay? Uh, I It's a good name. I kind of wish it was called something a little bit better but anyway they call this flex okay so you'll hear commercials hey get you a flex all right so basically what it is it's a streaming device from comcast so is comcast getting on board with streaming yes it is because they have a device that they'll they'll uh, give you the first one is free if you have comcast internet contact them um, i had family that actually discovered this put the time in contact them got it for free Told another family member, the other another other family member was like, really? Are you sure? It called in. Yep. And it's like, yep, we'll give you one for free. So this is my free one. If you want more than one, then they charge $5 a month for the other ones. Okay. That price may vary, but you can get one for free and you can do the Netflix and Hulu. And I believe every, every other app that we're going to be talking about today on here, I believe. Okay. And it comes with a remote, but you can't beat for free. Uh, the remote is kind of hard to press. So I'll go ahead and tell you that now. This is not my favorite remote. The, uh, the Roku is a lot easier, very easy to press the buttons on there. But there you go, free, devi free uh, device, and it will run uh, Peacock and stuff too. All right, which we'll talk about more in a second. Try not to get ahead of myself. So that's how you can get a free device called Flex if you have Comcast internet, okay? Now, 
let's talk about our smart TV. So we could have a device like a DVD player that says it will do things like Netflix, Hulu. The only big problem is may not support as many apps as the standalone devices. But do remember, if, if there's an app that your TV won't do, you can always get your little standalone device, plug it into the HDMI, and then watch your stuff that way too. Okay? So, um, don't forget we have our smart TVs. So just kind of think about a smart TV just has a built-in device like this inside of it. They do actually make smart TVs that do say that they have Roku's you know, inside them or such. Okay? But, love the little devices. Absolutely love the Roku. Big recommendation. Here's the new Chromecast. Again, it has a remote. All right, now you may already have a streaming device in your home if you have a gamer in your home, okay? So these devices, even the newer ones that are coming out too, they will do things like Netflix, Hulu, uh, Pluto TV, which I'm going to talk about. So let's talk about our free services with ads, okay? So is this just like watching normal cable TV, TBS, TNT, uh, you know, USA Network or something like that, Discovery? Yeah, those all have commercials. Did you know that you're paying to watch TV with commercials? So some people will get be like, well, if I'm paying for TV, why not commercials? So why not try out something free that has commercials? Now, the first thing I'll point out is YouTube TV, YouTube TV or excuse me, YouTube, okay? YouTube TV something separate. So YouTube, YouTube, great resource. I can't undervalue how great a resource YouTube is. Of course, we're on YouTube right now. Uh, the devices we talked about, you could pull up my videos and watch them on the big screen if you wanted to. Uh, the really great part about it is, you know, I know that there's a lot of like America's Funniest Home Videos, you know, kind of stuff on there, but there's also uh, you know hobbies you know things that you're interested in teaching you know like this want to take a class in something want to learn something new having some trouble with let, let's say a cell phone or a device or something you can usually find the YouTube channel about it now the other thing is there are content providers okay so companies will post clips of their content on uh, CBS you know news and so even our local news like WJBF News Channel 6 has a channel on YouTube. Subscribe to it, big recommendation. And they post lots of their you know, interviews and stuff, things going on, you'll get to know, um, all kinds of stuff. So a big one on there. And another example is like CBS News and the other news outlets will actually post clips on YouTube to their channels, all right? So sometimes, or it you know it depends on uh, what you're you know looking for. A lot of the time, I would tell you YouTube will take care of a lot of content. You'll get used to users that do things, especially if you like travel stuff. There's lots of travel stuff on there. Uh, I watch a lot of travel Disney stuff, so people that go to Disney a lot uh, with friends or family members, and they have uh, you know clips on there. Share that so you know information too. Makes it kind of fun for the whole family. Uh, the big thing is, of course, the main content is completely free uh, through YouTube as well. Just has commercials. All right, so let's talk about some other free stuff. What about PBS Kids app? Yes, lots of free kids programs on there. Uh, there's also the CBS News, which is it's a 24-hour news um, broadcast that CBS News puts out. Uh, it's completely free. It has its own app and everything, and you'll actually see it listed in some of the other things I'm going to talk about in just a minute, okay? So PBS, I know that PBS does have a, a, um, a $5 a month uh, premium, but if you check that out, there's a lot of content on there completely for free. You just need to sign up, tell them what your local uh, PBS channel is and like give them an email address and you'll get a lot of great content on there a lot of Nova stuff frontline stuff shows on there British shows the CW is I won't say everything but I will say a lot of their content with their shows superhero shows geared toward geared towards teenagers and stuff shows their, their movie their shows and stuff are being put on the CW app okay 
uh, watch it with commercials you know when you want okay so there is no CW plus or whatever it their content they put it on there it's for free the other thing is did you know that Sony has a free TV movie service yes they do it's called crackle so that's great with commercials lots of TV stuff on there to be great stuff um, movies TV shows and stuff on there now I'll talk about Plute, uh, Peacock. Peacock is the new um, NBC uh, uh, service that they have. Um, lots and lots of shows on there. They basically have three tiers, um, but you, there actually is a free one. So it has commercials in there. It does limit some of the stuff that's on there, but it's a great resource. You know, lots of shows, lots of TV things, movies on there, original shows and content as well. And in a second, I'll talk about if you have a Comcast. If you have a Comcast account, believe it or not, there's something that you can get uh, at free, which gets to the to the more content. Now, I'll talk about Pluto in just a second. The Roku, the Roku, Roku, <laughs> the Roku channel. I actually looked at it last night. Uh, had lots of TV shows, uh, movies on there, you know, with ads. But now they've actually added a bunch of uh, TV content. A lot of it's similar to stuff that you can find on Pluto TV, which we're about to talk about. Love Pluto TV, completely free, has on demand, more like its own um, uh, TV service. Is uh, Pluto TV has expanded that much? So let's go ahead without further delay. Now, there's lots of other ones, too, that I haven't even listed, but these are really my top uh, favorite ones right here, but a really big one, the free with the Pluto TV, okay? Oh, uh, Roku has a ton of uh, uh, Christmas stuff on there with Christmas movies and stuff, too. All right, Pluto TV. Now, used to, I would just say, hey, Pluto TV, you should try it. It's great. And then I would move on. And then I started watching Pluto TV a lot more, especially then they started adding more things. They had a um, kind of a merger buyout with Viacom. So now they have a ton of stuff on there. MTV, BET, uh, you know, reality show stuff, comedy. That means Comedy Central's on there. Um, you know, they even have uh, uh, like a Paramount movie channel all kind of movie channels and stuff. They recently added a Star Trek channel that shows mostly old episodes of Star Trek Next Generation and movies too. A CSI channel that just shows CSI TV show 24 hours a day too. So their content you can see on demand or you can see it in this, these channel forms and the channels have themes. So this is kind of the theme on there. It may seem a little small on your screen, but I'm just kind of delve into it just kind of give you a big idea that there's a lot of content on here. Now, there's a channel that does come and go, and that is the 007, where it shows old classic James Bond movies. Um, you can go there, and it's James Bond 24 hours a day. Now, there are movie channels. Yes, there are movie channels that just play movies, and they're themes. So there's spotlight, there's action, comedy, drama, fantastic, romance, thrillers. Won't like people like have family member that likes to watch thriller movies. Literally turn to that channel and you're good to go. People that like horror movies, there's horror movies, uh, horror, more horror movies. Uh, black cinema, cinema now, they've actually added some where they're actually doing 80s uh, rewind documentaries. There's the Paramount channel, movie channel. Um, watch the, uh, the classic black and white Sabrina movie the other day on there. They also have some that are themed. 80s rewind, they've added um, 90s rewind on there. And there's also a CMT Western channel, classic movie channel. Cult Films is really neat because you'll turn to that. And it may be something that has been deemed as a cult, a favorite, even though it may be a little odd. And that's a lot of fun to experience a new movie. Here's Kung Fu Movie Channel and then the Silent Group. Classic TV st shows will have their own channel and stuff. Uh, Leverage, Baywatch. There's the Star Trek, Sci-Fi, British TV stuff missed a lot of mr beans on there mtv reality shows bet reality shows uh, which you know kind of connect up with the vh1 stuff too um, here's your new stuff on here 
Now, I'll tell you this. If you do see the new stuff, not all of these channels are live news channels. The C, um, CBS one is, and if it's not live news, then it's like clips of recent uh, news and stuff. Uh, they also have uh, CNET news, tech stuff, and oh, the weather channel. So a big one is people that cut the cable. They say, hey, I really, really miss the weather channel. Well, it's not the weather channel. It's a channel called Weather Nation, which is a 24 hours a day live uh, weather, weather uh, nation channel. I'll say it that way. There's all your reality TV stuff that's there, stuff from the Spike Network, all kinds of fun stuff. Crime stuff, CSI, uh, you know, Dog the Bounty Hunter, 24 hours a day, Mysteries, Unsolved Mysteries channel. There's Court TVs on here, believe it or not. They have comedy stuff. Here's classic TV channels, The Adams Family. Uh, one of my favorites, the Doctor Who, classic Doctor Who channel. Flip to that. I'm good to go. <laughs> And, of course, they have classic other things like Mystery Science Theater 3000 channel with movies. And the Rift Track guys are watching movies and they're making fun of them, too. Also, other themed stuff, you like home improvement stuff, uh, cooking shows, lots of stuff on there. Flip shows, uh, explore sci-fi channel uh, um, stuff. Well, excuse me, science channel. And they have sci-fi uh, sci movie channel. Um, and they even have NASA TV on here. Something fun called Slow TV. Slow TV usually shows a train going, uh, spending many hours going across um, somewhere. Now, this is one of the things I could pull up on my computer, but I can't. Lots of sports stuff on here. They have old PGA tournaments on here. Nothing really that's like brand new live, but I think it's mostly like repeat stuff. You have to check that out for yourself. Lots of tech stuff, video game stuff on here. Anime stuff's on here as well. They have music video channels. Yes, absolutely. Channels that actually play music videos. They have kids stuff. They have a 24 hours a day, Door the Explorer, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles channel, Saturday morning cartoons, all kinds of stuff. So whole, 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 whole lot of content on here and including all the movies. And it does rotate and change and stuff as well. They just added two other channels. I'm trying to remember what they are. Maybe I'll remember them in a minute. But... Lots of content, lots of stuff. So just by saying, oh, Pluto TV is great. You should try it. Well, there you go. Hopefully that'll encourage you to um, try it even more. Okay. And it's free, completely free. Everything on demand is free as well. All right. So now let's get into talking about our paid services. Okay. So first we'll talk about our Netflix. Okay. Top paid services, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, okay, Disney Plus, and I even have a little chart that we'll talk about later, has really exploded, of course, about people wanting to get that. Uh, there's a Verizon thing. I'm not sure if they're still doing it anymore. Basically, if you could go to and you get the first year of uh, Disney Plus uh, for free with, through the Verizon, they actually have a, um, Disney Plus is actually cheaper than this, but they actually have a plan where they mix Hulu and ESPN2 uh, together for $12.99 a month, okay? Um, also, Amazon, uh, if you're not using your Amazon Prime, do realize there's tons of movies on there, shows, original content is on there, and it's something that you get with Prime, Amazon Prime, so you're like, okay, well, I love the, sh the two-day shipping. Very important during the holidays and stuff, but do realize that if you didn't have Prime, that's like 13 bucks a month is what they charge for that. So make sure you're watching it. Have it on your devices. Check in there every once in a while. You'll probably find something that you really like. They have been doing some uh, that my family has been watching. The They have been having some series for Agatha Christie uh, books that, that, that she would write. And they've done a few mini series about that. And of course, they're award winners too. They win, they win awards for their shows. Now, there's also Acorn TV, which is a big, it's very popular. It's actually $6 a month, but you can actually try it, use it free through our library. How do I do that? We'll go to our library site, gchrl.org, for more details. And you can actually sub subscribe it, um, excuse me. 
check it, their subscription out for a week, and then you can actually go back in and resubscribe as many times as you want. Um, we only ask that if you subscribe to it, then please use it. Okay. So Acorn TV uh, free through our library, or they have that price. Also, there's Peacock. So Peacock has the free tier that we talked about. And they also have one that uh, if you pay $5 a month, you get more content, which is an odd way of doing that. But if you have Comcast um, Internet, you actually get the, the $5 version for free. So it's kind of, kind of a way to encourage, uh, to let you think that you've gotten a really good deal. Um, used to only the Flexbox could play Peacock. Now the Rokus will play Peacock as well. But just realize that uh, that means that ha you can see all the content on there. If you want no ads, it says that's $10 a month. Um, so they're still kind of playing around with this idea. And uh, that's all the content, no ads. But if you have a Comcast Internet, you can actually get the the all all shows all movies and stuff for free okay so just kind of realize that they're kind of playing around with this so this is kind of a my getting comcast internet well you get peacock for free you know with ads and you're like okay well that's great you know so try the try those out try the, all the free ones out i recommended trust me you're not going to go to home and say oh i have nothing to watch tonight there's so many things to watch so let's talk about our Netflix a little bit. So we'll talk, kind of talk about the concept of Netflix versus Hulu. Okay. Now Netflix has gone up in its price recently, $2. Now they actually have uh, mostly three different tier plans. So do realize if you don't have a ginormous TV and you may not really care that much about it being in HD quality, just a regular DVD quality signal is fine then you can actually get Netflix for nine bucks a month. So they actually have a lower end one and then the higher end one, which is a $13.99. Uh, but that $8.99 one only includes one screen at a time, I believe. I'll have to recheck that or check their website for that information. Now they're putting out 4K signal. So make sure that you're not paying $17.99 a month um, for that. That does include four screens at a time. Uh, so what exactly does that mean? Well, it actually means that watching two programs at the same time, meaning screens. Now, Netflix is has no commercials. Okay? None. Most of the other stuff that I've been talking about, except for maybe the uh, Prime, uh, some of the other stuff like Hulu, even if you're paying for the no commercials, we'll have commercials in a lot of the programs. Okay? So just realize that Netflix is completely uh, commercial free. All right. They have their own content. They do get Disney stuff. They do get Nickelodeon stuff. Will they get Disney and Nickelodeon stuff in the future? Absolutely. Disney, even though it has Disney Plus, will you know rotate movies, TV shows, and stuff like that to other content providers. They're, they want to make money. Okay. Original content is really their big focus. Um, over the past two, three years, okay? So you'll see a lot of exclusive stuff on here that you can't watch anyplace else, okay? It's very handy. You basically can have one account with your family, have family members uh, going off to college or whatever. They can still use the account. Some of the other um, places can be a little bit more strict on stuff, so do realize that. Uh, Hulu is one of those where it'll actually, uh, I think every so often I have to make sure that I'm at uh, what it calls, considers the home location, uh, reconnect my device. <laughs> and I have been out of town and it's saying, trying to use the Hulu Live, which we're about to talk about. And it say you're not at home, so you can't use this. And that, that got a little aggravated. But I had other ways to do stuff too. So anyway... So it pops up here, comes our big Netflix sample here. Lots of stuff here. There's a lot of their original content, sci-fi stuff. People love Stranger Things, Lost in Space, original movies and stuff. I also have some original shows as well. And just kind of a big, broad, 
you know, overcast. They'll change shows constantly, um, but their original content, of course, sticks around um, as well. All right, so let's talk about Hulu. Now, Hulu is a little bit different uh, concept. Uh, well, I mean, let me mention this. So basically, Netflix, usually what happens is they do whole seasons unless it's like a talk show, okay? So when the new show comes out, they dump the entire season. The idea of this, one of the things that's interesting is that they can actually go back and, well, not go back, but they'll actually have it where the writers, the creators will be able to have a whole idea of what they want the whole season to be and basically write it that way where may or may not know but our TV on main TV usually the writers come in they create something they make a storyline they stop usually the show gets seen and then they do feedback change things or not but um, sometimes that means that a show you feel like it's going one direction can change because a different writer has seen or, or, or changed it where this is more of a concept of you know a 10 episode of a show is one big movie okay and it'll feel that way too another thing is you'll get whole seasons of shows on here so if they get Star Trek it's a entire season okay or you know all all the Star Trek's on there okay with Hulu they are basically now owned by Disney by 65 percent is owned by Disney and Disney now owns 20th Century Fox so I believe What's going to happen is more and more in the future, we're going to have to kind of have, as you see, they have that plan. Disney has the plan with Hulu. So Hulu will be kind of more of uh, Disney's ABC content and their more adult content from 20th Century Fox. Like now, they actually own the Alien franchise. Well, where's Alien? Aliens? Alien 3 going to go? Are they going to put that on Disney Plus? No, they're not going to want to put that on Disney+. Plus. Those are R-rated movies, you know, action sci-fi movies. So where do those action sci-fi movies go? Well, you can put them on Hulu because Hulu is kind of its own thing. So kind of for the household, an idea is if you want to get kind of everything Disney makes and there are other companies that make things too, you know, you'd want Disney+, Plus and of course Hulu as well. The big concept of Hulu is that basically shows things that came on last night, you can now see it the next day, okay? They have really dropped their price down to $6 a month for their uh, the main content on here. So let's say someone wanted to see Dancing with the Stars or The Night Show with Jimmy Fallon and you missed it, well, you can see it the next day um, on uh, Hulu. So it's kind of instead of renting um, you know, like a DVR box from the through DirecTV or Comcast or whatever, then all you're doing is it automatically does it because that's the shows that they have, okay? So if you want less commercials, I really should say less because some shows still have commercials on it, but they call it the no commercials thing. That doesn't mean that the Dance from the Stars is going to have no commercials, but that's the $12 plan, less commercials. Older shows may have no commercials, so it kind of varies, okay? Here's kind of a sample of some of the content that they have from all the main channels. So the idea of this is, you know, usually three to six months. If a show's going to come on um, Netflix, it will, like the entire season. These are kind of watching a show. Oh, uh, the new show... Um, uh, big Sky is on there because that's a really big popular there. It's on Hulu. You can see it later, you know, on Hulu. So classic TV shows, new shows that are coming up. And we have more and more kind of quote-unquote movie stars doing um, TV series, limited TV series. So they kind of view it as just a really big movie. So that's really great. I know George Clooney uh, apparently just did a, a sci-fi movie that's going to that's gonna be on um, Netflix this month which looks really exciting and good too and some other big stars are doing big stuff that's coming to um, Netflix this month as well all right so let's talk about our newer thing this is newer still I know we're talking about it for you know more than a year now users but it still feels pretty new uh, the live streaming TV okay so 
we have different services here. PlayStation View is actually going to be working its way out. DirecTV has one called DirecTV Now. YouTube TV. And the sad part about it is uh, Hulu Live used to include four local channels. They've actually recently just have ABC. They don't. They do have ABC on there, but WJBF News Channel 6 is not available on there anymore. So if someone like me wanted to see the local WJBF News, pull out your antenna and you're going to be watching it on that. Okay, so there you go. So the big thing is many of these do offer recording services. And some folks say, okay, I want to know the cheapest, cheapest way because I'm really interested in you know all the different channels well one of the cheapest is sling they start off they have two plans um, you have to check the specifics but someone says okay what about my favorite live news station okay what if someone wants to see CNN Fox News or MSNBC what is the cheapest way to see these channels live the cheapest way to see those live is with sling they actually have their $30 plan so if that's a big one, you could talk about having the $30 or Netflix or you could just have maybe some other service or you could just use that in your antenna and just watch the stuff on there. So basically we're talking about a bill that started off at $150, could jump down to $30 and then you can kind of pick and choose what else you want. One big thing about these services in general is that they actually have a... Uh, no contract so they're not like signing a contract with Comcast signed a contract with DirecTV for two years or something and just be aware that some of those could be set up that it has a, a, a beginning rate and then they will charge you more later okay I do know that Dish Network has also lost the local WJBF News Channel 6 and a bunch of other local uh, channels as well Hulu is actually going to be going up again in price. So it's actually was started off at 35. They did add some to the local channels on there. Uh, they seem like the best uh, price or ability went up to 45, uh, basically 55. And as far as of the end of this month, starting in January or whenever your payment your pay plan is, it's going to jump up to 65 a month and they haven't added anything new uh, recently so uh, might be a good time to try to something different um, sling TV is $30 there's other services like Philo um, has about that range but they may not have as many as the channels you want a big one is I can actually have a uh, link to one that compares a lot of them and I'll also point you in the way of there's two uh, YouTube channels that talk about antennas and they also talk about the, um, let, me, let me see if I can, I'll talk about that at the end. And we talk about cutting the cord and other things that are happening as well. Also, I don't have on there yet, but a big thing that has recently happened is our, the HBO Max. That has actually popped up and one of the big things about HBO Max is that they are going to be having uh, WB Warner Brothers uh, new movies that were coming out in the theater will actually be broadcast on the HBO Max for a month so you could see it within a month. The big one here is the new Wonder Woman movie will be coming out in theaters. I believe it's Christmas Day, yeah, Christmas Day, but it also will be showing on HBO Max Christmas Day. HBO Max is $15 a month, okay, and they ha do have a w way that you can actually prepay and save some money uh, for the future as well. The big thing about this is all of these movies, uh, Dune, The Conjuring, uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong, The New Suicide Squad, um, all these movies will actually be showing up at no extra cost past the $15 on HBO Max. So basically Warner Brothers has decided to put a work some deal with HBO to basically put a movie out of the theater but also put it on home 
video, and mostly this is because of, of course, of COVID. So it also will have all that new Space Jam movie, new Matrix movie, uh, new Mortal Kombat movie, and it has a big long list there. There comes Mortal Kombat right there. So they basically guarantee a theater, a theater, a theater movie um, once a month um, for you know the foreseeable you know next year. So the movies will not stay on on HBO Max. They say that they guarantee that they'll stay on there for a month when it first comes out in the theaters for you to see it. There you go, 31 days from um, theater release. So there you go right there, new Space Jam, a whole bunch of other movies too. And of course they have their own original content um, as well. Now, so that's really the big thing that's rocking everything. And I will tell you this, right now uh, the HBO Max is not available on uh, Roku. Now, so it is kind of a good idea to, I really love Roku and I also have a Comcast and of course now I have a Flexbox as well. And I also have a laptop. I could, you know, load that stuff on a laptop and plug it in if I want to. But so, do you realize that some of these services, like I said, not everything will be on everything. They're in negotiations and I have full, I'm full, I have full belief that that'll actually be available on um, Roku's as well. They're just going to work out the details. So they used to have a, um, I heard a tip today, they used to have a free week if you signed up here uh, for an HBO Max, but they've actually discontinued that because this is such a big uh, bombshell here going on. We're going to see what happens. The interesting thing is that we did have uh, Disney Plus uh, months ago come out with Mulan and the idea was that because you already had Disney Plus, uh, you you would pay an extra twenty dollars to get the Mulan movie the same time as it came out in the theaters. Well, I'm actually happy to tell you, and I haven't heard this. I just went on there last night and looked around. Mulan now is available with the Disney Plus service at no extra cost. So that's really a big one. I'm surprised no one's really mentioned that, but it's interesting because. When they first was trying to do that, saying, okay, what about $20? The big thing about this is these streaming services like HBO Max are more likely to make money in the long run by a huge influx of people you know, getting their service uh, with the push of this and probably keep it for years. But again, remember, you can cancel your, you know, where these are only monthly things. These are not something that you're paying for you know, for a full year if you don't want to. It looks like they have some kind of limited time deal. But they also have, on some of the services like Hulu, they still say that they have that, that week deal for the HBO Max. So that's really our big one uh, to be talking about uh, now. So HBO Max is coming through with movies that are at the theater. There you go right there at no extra tr cost. Um, I haven't really heard that the Mulan thing, I haven't heard anything really good or bad about the Mulan $20, you know, to see it. Uh, and then the people that do not mind buying digital, but they want to make sure that they can uh, transfer to different services too. Uh, so basically it was, it says you pay the $20 and you have to keep Disney Plus and you can watch it. So now I'm very happy to say Mulan is for free with your included um, Disney Plus subscription. All right, so we talked about our live stuff and then someone raises their hand in class and goes, hey, that's great. You told me how to get free local channels, watch all that free sports stuff. Um, also, you've given me a great idea, the ESPN Plus for $12.99 and everything, and Dis for the Disney Plus and Hulu, that all sounds great. Um, the live TV, $30, uh, if I really, really want that, that sounds good. But hey, I haven't heard you say anything about the Hallmark Network. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can talk about Hallmark. No, Hallmark is not listed in any of the other stuff that I've covered. Hallmark is its own thing. So it has a its own service called Friendly, okay? And I'm not going to talk about CBS now because those are, you know, st certain things... They're talking about services you're basically just paying to just get um, those shows. And things like the Disney Plus, a lot of people are getting 
Disney Plus because they want to see the new Star Wars Mandalorian show, and they also want to see a lot of the old uh, movies and shows that are on there, the Black Hole <laughs> movies on there, and another thing is they want to see all the new Marvel content that's going to be coming out uh, from Disney uh, as well. So, uh, you we may be getting really into, and this, you know, I don't really know if this is a bad thing or not, Basically, because there is no yearly or uh, two-year subscription to any of these services or anything, maybe you might get something like we saw on HBO Max, pay for three months, you get more of a discount. That's possible. <coughs> but we might be dealing with people that are just pick here, watch for a few months here, watch the content they want, and they go to something else. So I very, very easily could see Someone say, I want to see all the Hallmark stuff during Christmas, okay, and enjoy that. And then they go, okay, well, two months from now or a month from now, whatever, going, well, I'm not really watching the Hallmark channel. I really love all that Christmas stuff when they do it during Christmas, but maybe the rest of the time I'm not watching it. I just want to cancel it right now for, for the next few months. And then when Christmas starts coming around again, pull out the credit card, sign up for the $6, Absolutely, I think we, and I think these streaming services know that too. So a lot of folks will say they'll nickel and dime you all they want, but do realize you have the power because it's a lot better than it used to be than Direct TV or the rest of them because we can pick and choose what we want. We don't have to pay for the big, um, you know, co uh, cable content just because you want like HBO. So if you want HBO, you can just get HBO now. Okay. So you don't have to have the big big cable bill just to get some of the premium stuff uh, that you want, okay? And you can pick and choose. I know someone that likes to watch a lot of the AMC shows, and uh, their family will get it for about two months, and then they, they watch all the shows, the back shows and stuff, and then they cancel it, and then about six months later, they'll get it again for another month and watch all the back shows they want. So they kind of watch do it that way. So here's the Hallmark Channel, Hallmark uh, Movie Mysteries and everything like that. And guess what just showed up? <sighs> the Weather Channel. Now I did tell you that Weather Nation was free through Pluto TV and they actually have their own app as well. And it's also free through the Roku Channel also. But for six bucks you can get that. I'm not sure why you would have to pay for QVC. It does seem like QVC, they would try to get on every single streaming service they could, but the $6 literally is these channels, <laughs> and that is it, okay? It's not many channels, uh, you know, but it is $6. Can you spend $6 on Hulu and get a whole lot more? Yes, but they don't have... Those exact Hallmark movies, Hulu does have a ton of Christmas Hallmark-like movies, okay? Romance, you know, you know, family, stuff like that. So that's what you're really thinking about. And when I think about the Hallmark Channel, I really do think about Christmas movies and stuff. But can't live without the Weather Channel? Well, you can get the Weather Channel Hallmark for six bucks. So if you have an antenna and you want to see the Hallmark Channel and you want to see the Weather Channel... And maybe the Game Show Network, I can't do any better than $6 a month, okay? So that is available, okay? All right, so let's keep going here. Let's talk about our different subscribers. As of February 2020, Disney has actually come up very, very quickly as far as Disney coming out in November and shooting up that. Now I may be even double that. And here's now HBO now doesn't exist anymore. It's gone to the HBO Max. So they've actually rebranded themselves. HBO now has been something that has been just kind of laying around. Um, people are kind of interested in it. And knowing that, of course, they have their own original shows and stuff, but you could see those on some other services. Uh, well, the movies and stuff, other services too. But it's just kind of example of what we're dealing with now. Don't have a newer one of these, but um, when I do, I'll update that. 
let's talk about doing some extra uh, cut the phone cord. Okay, there's our phone. It's gonna ring a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's talk about some extra cut the phone cord. Okay, so basically, 52 of homes, 52 percent of homes are wireless and just cell phone only. Okay, so 20 percent use true landlines. The old school copper wires that used to be the only type of telephone connection. Okay, the other 25 percent of households with landlines are actually using. VOIP with voice over internet protocol through a cable or fiber optic connection. Okay, so basically, what does this mean? So, if you just go to the AT&T website and you just want a traditional landline plugged into the wall, uh, no, no long distance for $37. Now, I don't know if that comes with call ID, I don't know if that comes with any extra things that you're interested in. But we're talking about $37 now. I do know some famers that at some point it was like $70 because of just extra stuff on there. Now, if you want to make long distance phone calls, they say that to um, uh, nationwide, I get, continental United States, there you go, I believe. It may just be the US only for $64, okay? Now, the deal is, is VOIP, like Voight, Va Va um, Vonage or anything like that. Some of those you can actually make long distance calls throughout the world. But we're actually getting more and more about using our connection, basically our Skype, the FaceTime, the Facebook uh, video chat. You know, you can make just regular telephone uh, call through Facebook, you just don't say the video part if you want to. And if the person has Facebook or they have any of that stuff on their phone, then it actually, you know, just rings their phone uh, kind of normally. So it actually turns some of that having to have that as kind of nulls it because we can make phone calls just through the internet that way, okay? At no cost to begin with. But there are some services. So the voice over IP. Comcast does offer. It's about six dollars uh, extra if you want to. You do need a special modem to be able to do that. But do realize if you're looking at the traditional ones, the big plus of the traditional uh, phone line now is that if electricity comes off, you actually still can make a phone call. Okay. Where if you do switch over to voice over internet service provider, electricity comes off or you lose internet. Nope, you're not making any phone calls and you might be using your cell phone. But there you go with the Vonage. Now, there actually is a service called, I'm not 100% sure how to say that. My brain wants to say Umba or Umbama or something like that. And they actually sell equipment. There was someone that came to class that talked, about, about, uh, talked to me about this. And it was interesting because the $99 for the equipment and then it's free after that to make long distance calls to other cell phones, okay? The only problem is on their website, they actually list a $4 a month hidden fee, okay? That has to be charged for tax, okay? So it kind of nullifies that as saying is it's free, but of course that is a cheaper plan. So depending on what you want, what you like, there you go right there, you have a whole lot more options and I, I will even tell you this um, with after watching this video you may still be unsure you may still say I don't know you remember you can try for just a month or so some of these do have trial stuff you can try Netflix you could try one of the other services you have Comcast internet I'd call Comcast and tell me you want a free flex box okay it's got Peacock on there you can try your the Peacock stuff see what you like on there uh, Peacock, uh, the Flexbox already has Pluto TV built in, so you'll get to try that out as well. So lots of options, lots of more things going on. Um, you know, try an antenna, see what kind of services you get. Remember, the antenna can be kind of like a, a hobby. So I'll have folks go and, you know, if you want to contact, you know, the company that your service is with. If you're not in contract, you can renegotiate. See if you can get a cheaper deal, a better deal. It might be a good time to try a different service. 
okay? And, you know, just tell them, let, let you know this price is too high. I'm having troubles right now. I'm trying, I don't know if I can really afford this and see if they'll actually offer you something at a better price. There's some places that if you do have a student in your home, they have been offering some discounts um, for high speed internet. So do realize that as well. Okay, so what is the future? Okay, the future. So what exactly is the future? Well, the future is TV everywhere. And you'll actually hear me say in kind of the buyer's guide, one of the things I recommend is those cheap Kindle tablets. Now, they're not iPads, okay? Uh, right now, there's one that you can get on there for like uh, 50 or $40. It's seven inch screen. It really is made just to have at your house, walk around, but if this, it supports, I believe, all the streaming services that we talked about today, and you can download that. I know it does Pluto TV and Netflix, and it'll do Hulu as well. So basically, you'll have a seven inch screen, walk around, and a family member may absolutely love it. You can do stuff, you know, I can go in there and cook something. I can pull that up and watch a movie I wanted to. It's not an iPad, so it doesn't surf the internet very fast. Um, but cheap little streaming devices. And the other cool thing is, just throw that out there too, it does connect up. You can download Libby to those devices. Make a great gift as well. And uh, anyway, you can actually get like a little, the little sock pops that stick on the back of them. So they'll have a little bit of a stand too. So it's almost like having a portable TV around your house, wherever your Wi-Fi is, okay? So the TV, it kind of pushes the TV everywhere to kind of, you know, doing that. So great gift for a fan member. Um, they can check the email and do all kinds of stuff on there. Just remember, it's not as powerful as an iPad, but it will stream TV shows and stuff pretty well. And of course, YouTube too. So every show, every movie available, that's what we're kind of interested in. Uh, what's going to happen in the future? 5G cell speed. We'll have to see exactly what happens with that. Now, I do hope that their, the cell phone companies won't do exactly what they did with the, the, the 3 speed, and then they came out with the 4G. What did they do? Then they started limiting data, data, didn't they? And they wanted us to go back to that. Where now we're really nice, we fought all hard, and now we have our unlimited plans. Um, so hopefully it won't do that, but will they probably at some point? Of course they will. So we'll see what happens with that, what kind of future technology can come from that higher speed uh, cell phone service. Also, our antennas in the future will get an upgrade Right now, we're still only in the first version of this digital antenna um, uh, services. So what will happen? We're not 100% sure, but there's places like South Korea, which are now, and there's some cities that are actually testing out the third version. We actually skipped the second version. And what does that do? Well, that actually allows them to have full um, TV channel uh, plan schedules on there. Now, if you do get a TV like a Samsung, uh, some of those will have the schedule built in. Uh, so do realize that a, a smart TV might have that connected up with your antenna in some way. There's also ways that you can record uh, from your antenna. I won't go into that too much. It'd make my talk uh, usually would too long because usually I, I run out of time on this talk uh, usually. So we're doing pretty pretty good today. So anyway, there's ways to do that and then it record from the antenna. I won't go into that, but there's different services that do that and also 4K content. I'm very excited to say that in the future when our, um, our antennas actually switch over to 4K and of course a certain amount of people have to have uh, that type of TV, it actually won't cost us anything to be in a higher quality um, signal. So also with the newer uh, three, uh, more channels, higher quality without the need of a large antenna. So they're actually talking about that the ATSC3 signal is, I guess the better way to say it, is basically a stronger signal with the same amount of energy. Okay, so more channels that the, the local st stations can put out. Okay, and also 
um, you know, without the need as a, a large uh, antenna outside. Okay. So that's all good news for us, isn't it? All right. So this is what I recommend basically for the next two weeks. Okay. Is to basically whip out a sheet of paper and I usually have a handout for you. Okay. And of course I do have this whole presentation listed there. What you want to do is basically keep a chart of what you watch. Okay. What channels are you watching? What shows are you watching? And I'll even throw out there. Do you have a streaming service that you're paying for? And after two weeks, you haven't even watched it once. Okay. Maybe have you lost interest in that streaming service? Maybe you can cut that streaming service for a few months, come back. And when you want to see the content, maybe um, you've seen all of it and you want to see an, the, see when they've come out with a new episode or whatever, come back and then watch it then. Okay. So here's some of our resources and I am actually going to pull up the two uh, YouTube channels that I actually recommend watching. You'll get a whole a uh, lot of information from that. A big one here, of course, is our DTV.gov uh, site. It'll give lots of information about this. This one, the FCC one, I didn't go into the information, but talking about the engineering, um, what they call the repack, which I won't talk about that. This actually goes into that. We have actually gone into a repacking over the past uh, year. So you want to make sure that you scan for new channels with your antenna. Okay. Using the antenna points. This is a really big one right here. Instant Watcher. Wondering where a show is. Now, do you realize a Roku, if you get the one that has the voice search on it, you can press the voice button, ask for a show, and it will do something similar. It will scan through all of uh, the different streaming services to see that it can find out when that show is or the movie and which services it's on. Okay. Um, there's also, uh, uh, of course, our links to Hulu, Direct Now, and everything. And I'm actually going to pull up. So any questions about what I've covered? I know I've covered a lot of information. And let's see. All right, so there's two actually I recommend. One of them is, excuse me, one of them is the Antenna Man cord cutting. <coughs> Got a little choked. Antenna Man cord cutting, he has a lot of great information on there. He actually lives up in the Northeast. So some of the, his topics he does talk about range from that. Their location, he talks about something like 30, 45 uh, free channels with the antenna. So, um, you know, a lot of them are repeats and a lot of them are, um, you know, rerun shows, channels and stuff like that. But he's a big one about pushing the antenna, talks about the future and all that. So really great content on there. He's constantly putting out new videos and stuff. Tableau, that's the one I was talking about. You can use a... Uh, there are devices that you can use that actually record uh, from the antenna. I have a friend that they absolutely love their Tableau. And then you can actually use the streaming devices to watch that antenna. So lots of great content on there. He also does some Q and A stuff. Lots of great videos. Um, re big recommendation. Uh, really like the information out there too. And it's kind of some of it is kind of dry, I will tell you that. Of course, some people probably say I'm pretty dry. It's mostly based on your focus and interest, interest as well. Of course, you could fast forward and rewind too. Also, another great one is Cord Cutter News. Uh, this is a this is um, a group. They do lots of videos, and their big focus is the news part. So they all all they're talking about the new Comcast um, Chromecast right there. They do weekly. 
video news about cord cutting basically talking about the new updates and everything and what information can they share and watched about of course the new HBO exactly how that's going to work apparently Discovery is going to have their own streaming service now which I wish they would just put their they have content of course on Hulu I wish it would just stay there so because some of these you know it's it's whatever the market will bear and also whatever the market has interest in as well okay so we'll have some of these that will come out with their own services but the really great part about it is there's been some small ones um, let's say the uh, the karate new karate kids sh um, show Cobra Kai uh, that was actually a series that came out on YouTube Red which is no more anymore YouTube Red actually had its own content it was a subscription service um, and it was just an extra so they actually sold that show to Netflix and now it's like the number one uh, show on Netflix uh, family show on there so uh, not to worry if a show is really good or popular I feel like it'll get sold to maybe more of the name brand ones so if a show like Discovery comes out with their own streaming service they do something that's really popular they'll probably sell it to um, another group as well okay so it kind of goes around so those are the two ch big channels that I recommend uh, antenna man cut the cord and uh, cord cutters news okay All right, so any questions? <laughs> any final questions? It's a long topic. I know that. A lot of changes are going on with this, with some of the services charging a little more. So do be aware that that is possible. Um, some of those, it seems like it's gone a little bit too much. So hopefully I did inspire you maybe to try something different, try something new, try something that's in your budget. Do you realize, again, these do not have contracts in there in any way. So at the end of the month, you go to the website. You say, okay, they're going to charge me on the 17th. That means I'll come in and I'll cancel on the 16th. And you are good to go. And then try, feel free that you're free to try a different service. Okay. Now, as far as, again, going back, looking at what you're watching, uh, can you get your what you'd like to watch free? Can you get it a different way? I've even had it where uh, someone comes in and said that there's like a TV show that they absolutely love. They just watch it over and over and over again, a big long series. And I go, okay, that's great. Well, you might be able to check out that series, you know, DVD or Blu-rays from the, the library for free. Or you might actually look into purchasing them. Maybe it's an older show. Maybe they someone is selling their collection at a local store on like eBay or something. And then you can watch that show as many times as you want, okay? So could that save you money in some way? Absolutely. So always a different way to look at something, different way to see something. So always open for new ideas and new comments as well. All right, so that kind of starts to conclude our class, our Cut the Cable. We covered a lot of information. We talked about Hulu, Sling TV, Roku. Definitely big recommendation to try Pluto TV really like that channel really I'm mean, excuse me really like that you know I'll say app I guess that's the best way to do it it really is more like its own um, you know cable TV service I, I guess we need to work on coming up with a new name for some of these so like Netflix is a streaming service Pluto TV is a streaming service but they show it as channels so you can just flip there and watch it anytime and of course their influx or ejection of new content really makes them a uh, real, uh, real benefit to everybody for it to be free and stuff too. Have you ever flipped through and you know the the classic 57 channels, nothing on Comcast or the rest of them? Well, trust me, you'll go to Pluto TV and you'll find stuff that's like, oh, you know, old Cal Burnett show. All right, you know, something funny, fun, classic TV, new movie you haven't seen. Okay. All right, so. We kind of covered this a little bit before. So this is our last class for this week. And next week will be our last uh, three, three days of classes for this year. Okay, so that'll be the end of 2020. Okay, 
So next week we're going to be doing our Raspberry Pi computer projects. Uh, this project is a little bit in flux. I've had some issues trying to get it to work on my Raspberry Pi. So we may be doing a different project and we'll actually see. So come join me for that uh, on Tuesday at 2.30. And on the 16th, we're going to be finishing up with our three holiday classes. We'll be doing our digital snowflakes again and on the uh, 11 o'clock. And then at 2.30, we're going to be doing our gadget help with Alex, the last gadget help with me on no for the year. But we're going to have lots of new stuff scheduled for next year. And trust me, we're going to be doing another cut, cutting the cable in January because usually people are like, all right, I got this new device. Uh, you know, what should I do with it? Okay. Maybe even come up with some new cutter, uh, cable cutting uh, classes and some ideas as well. All right, so 16th. Uh, we'll be doing that, and then on the 17th, we'll be doing Let's Make a 3D Snowman using our free Blender 3D software. So if you, for friend or family members, ever wanted to play around with 3D, uh, creating 3D objects, you know, kind of like the movie Toy Story or something like that, come join me for that. We'll be using Blender. Uh, lots of folks have used that for, you know, making little short movies and stuff. And then we'll finish out the month with doing a Blender animate a snow scene it's going to be we're going to load up a little town and have a little car drive through it and that'll be our introduction to animation okay so lots of fun stuff going on and a little bit i did talk about it earlier recommended maybe a holiday gift one of those kindles tablets because you can do so much with them and also a great way to view free ebooks and free uh, digital audiobooks as well. Listen to them. You can download the Libby app. All you need is your library card. When it says what library you're with, just say Greater Clarksville Regional Library System. Uh, click Georgia Download Destination and enter your library card. Now, if you're not with our library watching our videos, I really appreciate that. That's absolutely awesome. Do you realize free things like this that I'm talking about? Look and check out, see what your local library is up to, and they may be supporting the Libby and you'll be able to get a library card as well. So maybe your local library is doing all kinds of fun stuff as well. Maybe you didn't know about, and I encourage you to do that and find out more information. Now, our library system is open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details, or you can call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're still trying to do our subscribe drive. So if we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, then we'll get our own customized YouTube address. If not, just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and we'll pop right up. So thank you so much for joining me today. Try to find something new to watch. <laughs> Try something new, uh, stay safe and everything. And the new one is people add, stay healthy. There you go. Uh, things stay positive. I'll say that as well. And you guys have a great Thursday and also have a great weekend. And I'll see everybody on Tuesday. So have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>